More than two billion people do not have access to clean water. It's particularly limited in parts of Asia and Africa. A big threat to water around the world is, of course, pollution. Its effects are easily measured in the waters off big cities. In New York, only a handful of traditional fishing boats still ply the harbors. They're the last of their kind. In decades past, the Hudson River was a rich and productive marine ecosystem, thanks in part to millions of oysters that helped to keep the waters clean. Today, almost all the oysters are gone due to overfishing and pollution. But a group of conservationists is working to turn back the clock. Their goal is to bring back a billion live oysters to these waters. New York Harbor used to be full of oysters, 200,000 acres of oyster reef. It was the dominant habitat type in the harbor. And back at that time, 500 years ago, the harbor was also full of fish and other marine life, and the oysters are the, so, the keystone species in that ecosystem. So when Europeans first arrived in New York Harbor, there were so many fish that you could catch them just by lowering a basket over the side of the boat and pulling it back up. So the harbor was actually literally full of live animals. Oysters are remarkable filter feeders that act like living sewage treatment plants. A single oyster can filter 60 gallons of water every day. Along with clams and shellfish, they also remove excess nitrogen that they use to grow their shells and tissue. The Billion Oyster Project collects oyster shells from local restaurants and plants them in floating cages on artificial reefs. If all goes as planned, oyster larvae will nest on these old shells and reproduce. We hope that by restoring oyster reefs, we can return that those ecosystem functions, the services that they provided traditionally. So oysters filter the water, they provide food and habitat for thousands of animals, they stabilize the bottom, and they can protect the, the shore from uh, storm events and wave action. If this project succeeds, then the tiny oyster will return to its role as protector of a megacity.